Whether you're spending time outside or just looking to cool off indoors, we've got 10 simple ways to show the sun who's boss. Get yourself some large and small plastic cups. Grab a barbecue skewer and carefully push it through the big cups to get started. Pop out that skewer and put the smaller cups inside as you drive the skewer through the whole batch. You can get crafty and add a little food coloring to the bottom of each one. Now fill the entire thing with water, getting each cup to an equal level. And then place it in the freezer for a couple hours after centering the small cups. Once you're done, remove the skewer and use the warmth of your hands to heat up the sides for quick removal. This is fantastic if a random friend stops by and you want to enjoy a nice cold beverage in the heat. Grant's fault. Do you order a lot of packages and keep the packing materials around? If you have a cardboard box, you can turn it right into a cooler. Just measure out the dimensions and then cut out some leftover bubble wrap to fit inside. You don't have to be precise here, but try and get as close as possible and then wrap your cutouts in aluminum foil. Once everything's wrapped up, just slip it right into the box, add a few beverages and then dump in some ice. A styrofoam cooler of this size costs about 20 bucks. This costs about two. If you do the math, that's about 90% savings for about 10 minutes of work. Enjoy. Let's talk ice block. Wait, wait, wrong genre. Maybe your fridge has no ice maker. Ice blocks can be just as effective and you can make one overnight. Grab a medium sized plastic container and fill it up with water. Sticking to the theme, I added a little food coloring to give it a nice blue color. Stick that puppy right in the freezer and go about your business. Once it's done, just pull it out of the freezer, tug at the container from both sides, and then loosen that ice and dump it out on a hard surface. Oh wow, I guess I didn't add enough food coloring, but hey, that's okay, it'll still work. Toss it in a cooler and add your drinks around it. You'll find that it's just as effective as cubed ice, so give it a shot and save some cash. Now it may sound old school, but setting a bowl of ice cubes in front of a rotating fan can actually mimic the effect of an air conditioner. Fill a tray with ice and add a little bit of water if you want an occasional spray of liquid that'll make you feel like you're in a fancy spa. Now place it in front of a fan. It creates a wind chill effect in the air that's cooler than the rest of the room and it'll spot cool any area or human with minimal effort. If serving ice cream for a party, plan ahead and get a tub of the stuff at a grocery store. Place that tub under hot water for about 15 to 30 seconds. Flip that container directly over onto a plate. It looks amazing, and it's a really brilliant way to serve a cool treat on a hot day. If you're looking for a little outdoor fun and don't have a cooler, then try this ancient cooling tip. Check your garage or yard for some spare terracotta pots. You need one to be larger than the other. Scoop some sand into the large one and then place the little one right inside. Now fill those gaps up with a bit more sand until everything is packed in nice and tight. The sand will work as an insulator and keep things cool on the inside. Put the cooler directly in the sun and cover it with a towel and then soak it with water. Once the water begins evaporating, it'll cause a chilling effect on the inside, which can drop the temperature significantly. This will allow you to keep your food and drinks nice and cool, even in the most sunny of conditions. Make some simple slushies with juice packs. Just pick out your favorite flavor and freeze the pouches for several hours or overnight. Cut the top off of the pouch and eat the slushy with a spoon. Now if you don't have those items, try this. In a medium saucepan, add two cups of sugar and one cup of water. Bring it all to a boil and stir it until the sugar is dissolved. Remove the pan from the heat and allow the syrup to cool and thicken. Now transfer that batch to some containers and add one packet of unsweetened flavored drink mix. Toss some ice in your blender and grind it up to an edible consistency. Use a ladle to transfer it over to cups or bowls and then squeeze that syrup right on top. If you're feeling overheated, this two ingredient cooling spray could save your summer lounge. Fill a spray bottle with one cup of water and then add 15 drops of peppermint essential oil and shake it well. Peppermint oil will give off a cooling effect to make you feel more comfortable while the water will chill you out. Make your water more enticing with strawberry lemon ice cubes. Just wash and slice up your strawberries and then slice up a lemon and pull out the seeds. Cut those slices up into tiny pieces. Feel free to add your own flavors to the ice cube tray as well. We added a squirt of lemon juice and a bit of that snow cone syrup. Place one slice of lemon and two strawberry slices in each space. Fill your ice cube tray with water and then freeze it up. When it's done, just drop a few of those ice cubes right in a glass of water for a refreshing taste. If you want a bigger batch, just put the rest of the ice cubes into a big pitcher, saving you time infusing water and also cooling it at the same time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out our summer life hack video. 
very similar and you'll probably enjoy it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of our videos when they come out. And we'll see you next time. It's so pretty. And it's turning my hands green. Oh yeah. Don't worry, there's life hacks for that too.